Uh, I guess we'll figure that out pretty quick. Yeah. So, how are you liking the, uh, the game? Zip zop, zip and bop. Zip zop, zip and bop. If God doesn't exist, how does zip zop, zip and mango pudding flaps? <laughs> but, um, <It's> true. <laughs> no, the more I play this, the more I'm enjoying it, and the more I see room for for me to make smarter decisions. That makes so. sense. Yeah. yeah. It can be a little bit hard to see uh, the, the smart stuff at first, um, but then uh, as you get better, you start to see the smart stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just I just need to play more, really. Yeah, play, right. play more both with other people. Today has been great and training playing mode. with other people and training mode. Yeah, course. understandable. There's a lot of pretty precise timing in this game, so you miss it by just that much, you get counter hit by that super. Oh, yeah. It's always <laughs> fun. I'm loving how often people are getting hit by uh, DP cancels with super. <laughs> yeah. Really uh, especially with Narukami, it's a really good cancel because oh, yeah. um, his DP in a cross slash is actually safe. Completely safe. Uh, so if the DP hits, you get a cross slash, and it might even cross up, which means you get a full combo. Ooh. And if they block it, it's completely safe, just for 50 meter. But the thing is, if they make the Dragon Punch whip, still massive punish. So if you make the Dragon Punch whip, you can't cancel a cross slash. He gets dominated. Uh, okay. So in that matchup, it's really important to make that whip uh, when, he, when he enters Awakening. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Man, yeah, no, I'm looking. I wasn't sure what I would think of this game at first. I wasn't either. Uh, yeah. At the very start, I wasn't either. I was like, this seems odd. But yeah, over time, I'm liking it more and more. It's definitely really grown on me. Yeah, uh, Akihiko has become one of my favorite characters of, all of, of any fighting game I've ever played. It's just so aggressive, <laughs> so rush down heavy. Uh, and I, what I like about it is like it's not autopilot rush down. It's like really, oh, really yeah, yeah, intensive yeah. read base. Like um, like a lot of characters will just go high low and like. It's it's nice because like I feel like for Mitsuru, all my buttons have a purpose. They do. Where in like Street Fighter, I feel like some of my, like a lot of my options have no purpose. Yeah, uh, and I think that's one of the benefits of having a four button game. Yeah. Um, the button combinations solve all the all the extra inputs you would need, and uh, none of the normals are really like quote unquote wasted. Yeah, I don't feel like I feel like okay, this does this, this does this, this. Does this. Yeah, they have they have like a, a really serious situ purpose. Kind of like situation specific, but still like if but you'll if that situation does yeah. arise, yeah, you'll want that, and you'll want to know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of room for creativity. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to use each of these uh, four buttons. So getting really used to them is very important. It's sort of awkward uh, at first. But it, yeah, it, yeah. Gets, it takes a bit to get used to, especially with all the, the different button combinations. Yeah. But once it becomes muscle memory, it makes a lot of sense. And it's actually a lot easier to input. It's pretty difficult to miss any inputs in this game, at least like the basic ones. Like if you try to drag a punch, that's coming out. Oh, yeah. There's really no way you're going to miss that. I've never really like. Yeah, I can't think of a situation where, like, I wanted something to come out and it didn't because... Yeah. Because of input error, right? It was because someone did something to beat it. Yeah. I actually really like that about this game. I have a lot of a lot less matches after uh, after the match where I shake the opponent's hand. They're like, man, if that had come out, you would yeah, be so I, dead. Yeah, I haven't heard that really. doesn't really happen. There is a lot of, like, I missed my timing. Yeah, that was good unblockable. Chun's stuck in the corner, confused. Uh, but he figures it out, gets his head straight. See, so usually purple, purple is a bad thing in this game, right? Yes. I uh, purple's like color purple. Yeah, purple. I, I saw someone with like a purple meat through, and I was like, how'd you unlock it? How I play with it? No, it's white. And purple's a really good flavor. Oh wow, look at this. That is actually throwable. So if she ever uses that right next to you, you can throw it. Okay, very sweet. But you have to know that it's that super and not the reversal one. Oh, the one that behind. Oh wow. Down button? Yes. Uh, the thing is, if he charges up his fire break, which you can notice in the lower left corner, if there's a glowing red bar, the next special or super he uses is unblockable. Oh, okay, that's sick. Okay. So he needs a lot of room to set that up, though, because he needs to use a long startup special to charge that. And then afterwards, it has a long cooldown time where the, the bar will be grayed out. Also, you might notice the levels. Um, as she levels that up, if she chooses to do so. Uh, levels one through four upgrade the damage by 10%, okay, and one go. through eight upgrades it um, a little bit more than the first four for a total of 100% at level eight. So her damage can get really high. Why would you not want to upgrade it? Well, the problem is it's just you're forfeiting a lot of room, and as a zoner, that's not really, like, you, can, you can't always have time for that. Okay. 
Because when you're charging that up, you're obviously not throwing fans and fire oh, everywhere. Okay. I, I understand. So far, Chen's doing really good for himself. He is, but Adrock is coming back right now. Yeah, this is an awful situation to be in. Especially in the corner. Whoa, what? Oh my god, that almost worked. That should have worked. I'm gonna give this round to Chun Ark. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> That, that should have worked 100 percent But Adrock <laughs> instead wins it. Um yeah, you he would have that in How sick would have that been? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I I respect it. Um but he did lose that round. Yeah, he did. Especially when you're on the verge of finishing it like a sick. You don't want to do that. But Chun's looking really dominant in this round so oh, far. Oh yeah. Uh, actually a perfect victory at this moment. No, not perfect, but might as well be. It might be perfect. No, no, no. That's blue health. No, not that. We'll have to see it. We'll have to see if this is perfect. It's not perfect. We'll have to see. It's not perfect. Darn. You're right. Okay, whatever. No, that's fine. No wonder you kids are so dumb at your anime games. Can't even look straight. What hit him? I don't know. No, earlier. There was a, there was a gray area. You, do you know how to read health bars, David? Or do you just punch the guy until he falls down? Punch the <laughs> That's what those yellow things are? Oh, God. Oh, man. I was doing this whole thing by sight. I thought they were jello pudding. They're delicious. They're yellow with red flavor. I do love yellow. A blue is a, a good flavor, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blue is my favorite flavor, I see. I also like cherry. Yeah. Well, Yosuke uh, dumps his classmate on the ground. That's just really, not just, it's flawed. Chun is also really representing TP. Yeah. Throughout like the series, mm -hmm. there it is. Again. He's using it until it doesn't work, apparently. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways I respect it. In a lot of ways, yeah, it's a I lot know, of risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of risk that doesn't necessarily need to be taken. But hey, I mean, he's exposing a flaw and did not block that. He uses TP again. Uh, he has noticed a significant flaw in this man's playstyle, <laughs> which is the dragon punches don't exist. Early on, though. It is a good option. Yeah, uh, especially if your opponent doesn't have high damage combos, it could be a really good choice. Because one counter hit Dragon Punch could be about the same as his combo anyway. If he's doing really, really weak combos. And it's just like, you really need to think about your offense. Absolutely. Like, I would rather, even if I'm block, I'm technically blocking or neutral on their wake up, I would rather just control that space. Because you could wait to see if they're going to DP. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And still be okay. Absolutely. And uh, Dragon Punches are usually pretty good this game, so there's definitely a lot of that where you have to just respect the space oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and consider it. You don't lose that much by not having that meaty pressure on the Depending on the character, it could be more, but um, yeah, you're right. A lot of characters don't lose almost anything. What, does he get life back when he does that? He does, actually, if he holds it, but the recovery is awful. Oh, and he has to let go a long time before it recovers. So he only gains life until he lets go of the button, and then it's like 40 frames of recovery. Okay, very interdashing, very interdashing. So Chen took that one pretty soundly. Uh, unfortunately for the stream monsters, he did not hit the instant kill. Is that just Chen's gimmick now? Is that uh, he, he presses up pretty much every round he thinks he's going to win, right. which is OK. You can block all instant kills in this game, right? Um, Not all, but Almost. all the good ones. The thing is, like, at the point that you can't block it, they're usually unholy telegraphed. Like, Kanji's oh, okay. instant kill, he like sways forward, like walks forward, then the screen flashes, then he keeps walking forward, uh, then he walks forward, then he command grabs you. That's and good. And it's like, I mean, obviously, you, you probably saw it coming. There are some setups where you can make it somewhat hard to understand what to do about, like if you if you paralyze them and then do it, Oh yeah. you'll have to roll through them, uh, which could be really scary. And if you just don't have the balls to do it, you're going to get command grabs. You could also short hop it. Um, oh yeah, short hop is a uh, down down AC. AC. That's right. Um, but yeah, um, the the only other unblockable instant kill that I know of is Akihiko's, okay. which is probably the most useless instant kill in the entire game. Your range? Uh, it's it's throw and like it, it's basically like an unblockable hit on the orb, but the startup is so bad, and you can always uh, just just run away from it. And it's really, really telegraphed. It's like okay. 200 frames startup. Oh, 200 is a big number. It's a very, <laughs> very big number. I don't know the actual frames, but I would not be surprised if it was a good three seconds. 
Yeah, instant kills generally are not very viable. Actually, Chun's instant kill is pretty good. Yukiko's instant kill is relatively fast and invulnerable. Okay, cool. So it, it's kind of a legitimate dragon punch, but they have to commit pretty hard. So Tone definitely knows what he's doing. Miguel has yes. been playing since... This. Midnight. Midnight, yeah. And he's been getting better. He has been, yeah. Uh, we had a NOS power-up match earlier. Um, it seemed like he learned a lot from it. He ended up drinking the NOS. I put, drink I put that, that NOS in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he is unsure what to do about authenticity in his face. Kanji is, uh... If you know much about tier lists, this character is day one S tier. If you don't know what's going on, this character is going to maul you. He's, oh. he's just going to walk all over you, and you're going to have nightmares about him later. You're going to lose a lot of sleep over it. Uh, but once you understand it, the biggest mistake here, Miguel is rushing in. Uh, he has absolutely no reason to do that. Kanji has difficulties approaching. So what he can do is he can just stay at the tip of 5A range, that move right there, that, yes. that jab. There just stay go. at the tip of that, and it becomes really oh, difficult. Oh, guys, guessing like crazy. Yeah. It kind of went wild there. Uh, but if he just stays at the tip of his range, really hard for Kanji to find any way in. He could also work uh, jumping A also. That's right. Uh, jumping A and jumping B, both very good options. Oh my God. But Miguel <laughs> is just absolutely going in. He's consistently getting hit by that Dragon Punch. It keeps putting him in a bad situation. He's so much damage. He's breaking the cardinal rule. You never approach a grappler. They almost always have some kind of key mobility flaw that keeps them from being able to get in. And they want to be point blank way more than you do. So when you're electric, your only choices are... Your only mobility choices are roll and short hop. You can use all of your other buttons. So like Mitsuru can still use her charge, her dash punch. She can still use her dragon punch. So she actually still has some legitimate mobility while paralyzed. Okay. I need to, I can't go, go play match. Before. Okay. Take I'll be back combo. later if you guys will have. Definitely. Oh no. And Miguel gets molly whopped. Tone takes him to WWE, throws the folding chair at him. Hey there, Dad. How, you, How doing? you doing, Bobby Siege? I'm doing really good. I'm doing great. Uh, Tone versus Miguel. That's right. Uh, Miguel I met a long time ago for a Smash Brothers community. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, really, really good guy. Yeah, he seems really cool. Yeah, I know he branched over into uh, Ultimate Marvel. That sounds about right. I think back. that's where I met him. Yeah, uh, South, no, no, uh, Starbase. Starbase. I might have seen him once or twice there. Yeah, I yeah. think I think he's mm, like Fairfield-ish or like yeah. Antioch. Yeah, he's a Fairfield guy. Fairfield, okay. Uh, yeah, um, I know he ran some tournaments or helped to run or helped his friends run some tournaments at uh, Fuddruckers up there. Yeah. Oh so. yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, there were a lot of different you know like Marvel slash melee tournaments going on up there. Yep. Pretty good tournaments. Too. Yeah, absolutely. definitely check him out if you're in that area, in NorCal. Yeah, those are uh, the conquered Rod Wreckers. Uh, so I've been watching Tone play, I've been watching Pain play, I've been watching uh, Black Mage play. Okay, all the kanji plays. It's really, really interesting watching a difference between all their kanjis. They are um, all very different. Yeah, it's like you get like this, this uh, trifecta of three completely different play styles, you know, completely across the map, different yeah. sides of the world. Now we're going to game two, Tone with uh, taking first game. So uh, definitely the problem in the first rounds, and apparently continually the problem, is that Miguel is going in in every match. Yeah. And Mitsuru does not thrive there. Uh, point blank is not her best range, unless she has frame advantage. Yeah. And, and he keeps getting hit by the Dragon Punch. He's also, Tone is just baying out the Dragon Punch every single right. time. And so he's not playing optimally to his range. The, the match has pretty much been like clockwork. Miguel gets a hit, gets a knockdown. Right. Uh, Tone then DPs. commits, Tone DPs, Miguel hits the ground, Tone goes for knockdown, baits Dragon Punch, Miguel Dragon Punches, and then punish for massive damage. That has been pretty much every single round. We'll see if history repeats itself. Miguel gets a hit. You know, I think that Miguel should be playing at max range with that 5A. I completely agree. That's Mitsuru what I was just, just telling. Uh, not Pablo. a rushdown. But she, she's a rushdown, but you don't rush down the grappler. That's just right, like right, right, the, right. the rule. Miguel gets stuck. Good Dragon Punch. Great Dragon Punch. Dragon Punch. A lot of people forget that short hops are in this game. That's true. Uh, Miguel goes in, gets Dragon Punch, gets knocked down. And Toad does not beat the Dragon Punch that time. Uh, but that was the exact same scenario once more. Maybe Miguel knows something that we don't. Whoa, looks at the command grab. Does not take him off. 
Miguel can't quite punch for full life. One more hit should do it. Oh, nice charge punch. Miguel turned around that match pretty considerably. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe he's uh, making a change to his gameplay. I really can't wait to see this map. I'm not sure pretty good confirm. I don't know exactly how he's supposed to confirm that. Not only that, but look. He's playing a lot gets less Gets down, gets the like. Dragon Punch baited again. Stop it, Miguel. Oh, I agree with that goal burst. I do too. Uh, I think that was a really good goal burst. That was probably one of his best choices at the time. Gets hit by the Dragon Punch. He gets scared and Dragon Punch is out again, just, just like Clockwork. Lock the Dragon Punch. Don't swing at it. Don't try to beat the DP. Sanji's DP is so good in this Whoa. game. Give him the iceberg. A wild choice by Miguel. Pays him off big. But he gets counter hit. And that is going to be it. Tone takes yeah. over Miguel. Miguel's going to really have to work on his defensive pattern. Great match. Great match from both of them. It was a good match. Uh, the match was definitely lost on the patterns. Yeah. Tone had less patterns. Uh -huh. um, Miguel couldn't figure it out. But also, Miguel was unwilling to beat the Dragon Punch, and Tone was not. Yeah. That was that was really the story of the match. You know, Kanji's Dragon Punch is so good, but you can't just sit there and block and get the Fatal afterwards, you know? You don't have to overcommit, swing, get electrocuted, and then Absolutely. watch Tone go in on you. Yep. Oh, it, it is Tone's birthday. So happy, happy birthday, birthday Tone. Tone. Congratulations on your WWE chair victory. <laughs> Got that share from the audience. Now we have Tasty Lumpia and. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah Tasty Lumpia, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 player. And I don't quite know the other player. I can't remember his handle. And uh, just to let you know, guys, we do have to go down for a little bit. So uh, we're resetting the internet here at Game Center. It's been a long okay. couple of days. So uh, stick tight. Anyways. Yeah, I guess they're uh, <laughs> going they're going in. in. <laughs> Nothing can stop these warriors from doing what they want to do. Unless they're like practicing? Maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they're not taking it very seriously. Uh, this looks like the most serious match I've ever witnessed. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't... Hey, what handle do you want to go by? How would I spell it? Mm, ghost. Mm, ghost. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, <laughs> we're, gonna <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have to have some fun with that one. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much guaranteed to happen. Ding ling ding dong. <laughs> Love that ding ding dong. Mm, that tra la la. Oh, 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 oh. My favorite part of that video is when he's just yelling at that girl's butt. <laughs> he's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Like, it's so unbelievable that a Korean woman has, like, a small butt. <laughs> Wonderful life. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope for the best. <laughs> Playing for the green light from Moogle Parade. Our fearless leader. Moogle Parade, this is Star Command. Are we live? Uh, Moogle Parade, we need the launch codes. Uh, Earth to Moogle Parade. Uh, Moogle this is Star Command. Are we live? Are we ready okay, to launch? Okay, we are live. Okay, we are ready we to are launch. Are. Blast off. We are, in <laughs> fact, playing Persona 4 Arena, my sources tell me. Fire up the flux capacitors. All of them? All of them. Oh god. We're going fast. Yeah, we're serious today. So we So have this is uh Tasty Lumpia versus Mmm Ghost. Mmm Ghost. Mmm Ghost. Mm Ghost. <laughs> That's right. Mmm Ghost representing that Chie against yeah. Tasty Lumpia with the new Narakami. Haven't seen too many Chies, but Mmm Ghost is definitely yeah. playing her today. Uh, I like that he's going with the uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, persona. Yeah, I respect that a lot, actually. Game of death. 
And I, I'm sure that mm, Ghost is very uh, up to date on all of his Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee movies. Absolutely. Uh, Tasty Lumpia gained a wall push. She's going to get set up for pickup. No Oki, though, because his persona was already out. That's right. Um, he's definitely controlling the pace here. Mm, Ghost finally gets a hit. Sets up some core knockdown. Tasty Lumpia, I feel, is just getting better post than Ghost. I agree. And you know, when Oom Ghost does get pressured, it's kind of the same thing. Similar, yeah. You know, um, uh, Tasty's more willing to use a Dragon Punch, though, so he did get out of that yeah. pressure. Doesn't seem like mm, Ghost really has that option yeah, on his. Uh, Tasty is fearless with mashing out Dragon Punch. Absolutely fearless. So if, if you're ever playing against Tasty Lopia, you should definitely set the kitchen timer to Dragon Punch. Yep. And uh, look for that one. Let, let it cook for a while, and then you'll get a nice tender Dragon Punch out <laughs> of the oven. Delicious. Just <laughs> the best. Game is Oki set up a burst from mm, Ghost. I don't really like that burst. It was center screen, you know, he wouldn't get a lot of damage off of it. It right. wasn't fatal, it wasn't... The knockdown's a little bit intimidating, but I mean, you're going to have to deal with it now or later. And later he's going to have more meter to make it hurt worse. So low, Tasty blocks the low. Oh, nice anti-air by Tasty. Mm, Ghost really struggling to get any kind of uh, yeah, momentum rampage going. Kicks. Oh, nice cancel. Rampage kicks That's up the next up, and he got another hit. Oh, he does not confirm it, though. And Tasty presses that juicy dragon punch. And he's gonna take the first set. I I just I really want to see Ghost change up his uh, pressure string a little yeah. bit. You know, maybe throw in a low that isn't part of the A combination or. Yeah, yeah, like uh, just dash crouch A. Yeah. That could be really useful. Or like a, a sweep or an. That's all out. true too. She has a really fast all out. I believe it's the fastest in the game. It's really uh, really fast. It goes uh, per so you could, you could do he could do the overhead and then uh, a quick all out attack instead of the follow up right, row, absolutely. and that could be really dangerous. He could also set up um, if he if he scores some knockdowns with sweep, he could do sweep five DD. Right. Set up some really dangerous high low mix up with air dash. I don't think he's sweeping at all? Doesn't Which seem is, like it. Um, uh, maybe he's still a little bit new with Chie. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if he uh, gets some of that going on. For all you Chie players out there that don't know, uh, Sweep is a great move for Chie because setting up her Oki is just incredible. Really important. Her her anti wake up game is just so strong. So uh, in this match so far, Tasty has just been cooking those dragon punches all day. Yeah. Uh, he's he's had about three Tasty dragon punches and so far. Juicy dragon punches. They're really good. Uh, he really left them in the oven for just the right amount of time, yeah, and they came out. They came out really good. Uh, Tasty with a good, uh, I suppose, not tech setup. Um, uh huh. The Oki picking up. Uh, That's Ghost. right. Narukami uh, very easily picks up players who do not tech. Right. Uh, and runs it right back into the same exact situation. So there's very little reason not to tech. Mm Ghost is going to have to make a major adjustment if he wants to take this. Yeah, this could actually be the last round for mm Ghost. Mm Ghost. Could be the very last one. He's really going to have to change the momentum. Change uh, the the entire story change of the, the match. The entire screen to the match. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty Olympia. That was some mana commentary right there. <laughs> In the corner push. <laughs> In the corner push on goes mm, go with a good chance for pressure. He instead backs off and says, "I'll let you breathe because I'm spelling a dragon punch." <laughs> The Tasty Olympia leaves it in the oven for just a little bit longer. It's getting too warm. <laughs> he's going to let it cook to 165 degrees, then he's going to take it right out. Uh, that warm, simmering dragon punch to serve to his <laughs> just so Tasty Olympian family. Delicious. All nice that grabs that up. Uh, goes for the all out, but he didn't expect the jab to hit oh, there. Wow. Just empty low from mid screen. Mm, goes staying on 120 meter. Oh, this is dangerous. Uh, he drops it. Oh, Tasty keeps Dragon Punch in the oven. I would have baited it right there, so that was really good. And go stay on 25 merits. Maybe, uh... And he sets up the fatal, and he takes it over. Mm, ghost. And uh, mm, Ghost is going to be in loser's bracket now. Just your players out there, those beams, you can insta-block. And if you just keep insta-blocking them, you're going to get a ton of meter. You get a lot of meter. Like, uh, I believe you get so 20 cool. meter off of Elizabeth's uh, Persona beam. Yeah, if you, block, if you insta-block every single hit, yes. Yeah. Uh, and off of Narukami's, you'll usually get enough to counter assault. So honestly, in a lot of ways, the setup defeats itself. Yeah. Because you dash forward. Try to mix up. By that time, they've already instant blocked so much, they've got enough meter for a free guard cancel. A lot of people that are getting into it. Persona 
don't really understand instant blocking. So I'm watching like Labrises just tear people open with 5A, 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 5A. Five right. five A, five A. But, and then because I'm in just, Red Axe, it's, it's plus, but it's not if you instant block. Right, so just instant block the last one. Boom, boom, get exactly. the fatal. Exactly. It's a really good point. Now we have Zeno versus Chun. Zeno looks either exhausted or terrified. I'm going to go with exhausted. We have been here for a while. Wow, look at that face. Can we zoom in on that face? My god. That is... Look at, look at just the, the sheer... Man. The sheer exhaustion on that face. That is, that is just next level. It is just been... Oh, wow. <laughs> He's you could actually, like, see yeah. the, the wrinkles. <laughs> He's giving himself... Like, I think this day gave him, like, three or four city miles. <laughs> And Zeno going right in on Chun. Chun getting the DP. Now Zeno's in the corner. Chun this is really dangerous. Uh, Labrys has no real way out of, this, out of the corner. No. Um, she pokes her way out of the unblockable setup, which is really good. But she's still stuck. She didn't get out. And he just he could just keep doing this pressure. He, the spacing was just a little bit off. But if he's at the exact right space, very difficult to Dragon Punch. Very difficult to do anything about. Uh, but Zeno finally found a way out of yeah, that. Yeah, for so a really good. Yukiko has surprisingly good pressure. She does, yeah. Uh, in certain situations, it can be really hard to deal with. Chun Zeno just gets it. hit by that. Very oh, convincingly. Yeah, that was really good by Chun. Uh, see, personally, with a character that you need, uh, when you need to rush down Yukiko, I think Gold Bursting really early in the start of the round is a good idea. Could be. Uh, in some circumstances, that's a really good idea. Because um, you get... I I, I've seen that idea reflected in several Japanese Akihikos. Right. Uh, they'll goal burst really early. They'll they'll start to use their resources early to try to sway the match in their favor, and they'll also be recharging their burst very quickly right. because, unlike their opponent, they've already used it. It's already coming back, so they're they're trying to basically it, generate resources. And it's only sixty percent burst for hundred right. meter. Yeah, you, know, you hit that right. You're saying a oh, hundred meter, forty percent burst. That's right. No problem. And then you just have to play a little bit safe. Don't get fatal. Very good reversal by Zeno. And Chum looks for the instant kill. It whiffs the opposite direction. And he gets hit by the Dragon Punch one more time. It doesn't work. But the all-out attack comes out. Doesn't get hit. Chun continues to block the mix-up. Very good defense by Chun. And then he presses all-out attack at Putsies, And that does not work well for him at all. Zeno picks up the hit on it. And they're going into the final round of the first set. Match point for both. Chun does have a burst. Uh, Zeno's is just recovering. Seems like the fire breaks are pretty good for uh, breaking Zeno's persona. Nice bait by Zeno. Baits that Dragon Punch really hard. And baits that one as well. Chun may be pressing too much Dragon Punch. I think Chun's going in way too hard. I can like, agree with that like, too. Um, I, I however, Shadow Labyrinth's persona can be really obnoxious in this matchup. So sometimes if you get that kind of opening, you just want to go in. Um, that being said, Yukiko still has a lot of reasons to stay away. Right. Yeah, we see this a lot uh, from Chun. Oh, here we go. Um, blockable super. And Zeno gets out of it, presses a super of his own, counter hits are out of it. The super does not come out. Zeno is forced to burst. They're both one card away from being persona broken. Chun presses super. Both the chip damage is massive. No and he meter. looks for the grab, but Zeno takes it. No meter, no burst, no burst. Oh, and the fire catches him out of his jump startup. Even if Zeno tried to block that, he would not be able to as a result of the anti chicken blocking mechanic. That's right. First five frames, you cannot block when you're coming off the ground. Yeah. That's a really good mechanic in this game, I think. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> really forces you to respect every character's properties. You no can't character just really. Back yeah, pressure. Exactly. Sometimes you feel the pressure. Then. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where I was for a second. <laughs> Didn't know we had Batman on commentary. <laughs> we did. Oh, okay. We did. Batman making a quick uh, cameo commentary. Zeno baiting that dragon. Punch. He has been baiting the living hell by that dragon. Punch. Uh, but it was not enough last round. Great all-out attack to bait the dragon punch. Fantastic choice by Chun. Confirms. Yeah, he does uh, get the full confirm. Yeah, relatively awesome. 
Chun takes this entire Looks game back. Looks for the super from behind, and Zeno is just the wrong place, wrong time. Gets caught by that super. You've got to respect the, the potency of the fire break. It makes some situations really, really threatening. Chun going in at the very start of the round. I don't like it. <laughs> it's an interesting choice. Honestly, though, it, it's hard for me to say what she's supposed to do. This matchup is slated to be very bad for Yukiko. Really? Um, as a result of the Shadow Labyrinth persona just completely mitigating so much of her right. uh, zoning potential. So it's hard for me to say what I would prefer for Chun to do in this matchup. In every single other match of the entire game, I would no, no hesitancy agree with you. Chun really ain't that all out. Fire continually catches Zeno. Chun looking for the unlockable super again, and Zeno jumps right over it. And Chun gets hit full screen by that persona low. Fire break on cooldown. He's not gonna have any gimmicks. He's gotta win this legit. Zeno takes the grab. Great tech. Chun continues to go in. The all attack gets beat by the dragon punch. Chun bursts. He wants this round. And Chun presses unblockable super, and it hits Zeno out of the startup of that super. And Chun takes that match over Zeno. Yeah, I can see Chun grinding the fire <laughs> as Zeno's super animation came up. It was a legit punish. Uh, there was absolutely nothing Zeno could do at that point. Yep. Yeah. Zeno's uh, saying words to me. I can't actually hear it. Yep. Not speaking English. <laughs> Not to us, at least. It's garbled through our yeah, very, <laughs> very nice comments. That phone's a good noise cancel. Yeah, they uh, really do. Has Zeno tried really hard? Oh, are we going to see a Dark Talon match? Oh, is that right? Oh, please, Keenan. Yes. Dark Talon, EMP Vanilla Coke, has right. been uh, a very strong Narukami player. Who he's up against, sir? I think it might be Moogle Parade. Uh oh. Oh, ho! Oh. In which case, uh, I'm actually going to run the stream. I'm still going to stay on commentary with you. But I'm going to also do the stream for that. Dastro, a man of many talents. I'm very excited for this. Google Parade always choosing very interesting, very fun characters. He kind of just plays a character that he has most fun with. Um, EMP Vanilla Coke, um, nobly a black person who plays fighting games very well. Uh, Keenan has continually impressed me because he picked up this game in like a day he's been very excited for it he picked it up as, real fast yeah, as soon as he picked it up he just started going in it took him absolutely no time yeah. he clearly studied a lot of uh, narukami videos really knew how the character played even before he touched the game i love how uh Kina explains his narukami he goes i have I have four buttons, two for Narukami and two for Narukami Zoki. It's <laughs> a very accurate synopsis. Yeah, there's a lot of lady. <laughs> so far, pre-even game, but Moogle Trade in the corner. Now, oh, EMP Vanilla Coast gonna get some great pressure steps here. Smart rollout by Moogle Trade. Secures a good hit. Right, EMP Vanilla Co catches him. Moogle Prey is going to have to think no. over his game plan. You, you might remember, uh, Moogle Prey was actually placed into this situation in the tournament in Lucid Bracket by a man with one A button and one uh, Dragon Punch button. I was not there for that. He literally had a stick that was designed in such a way that it was modified. So it was a Persona artwork, a button that was labeled A, and a button that was labeled Dragon Punch. That's Just two God, buttons That's on the stick. amazing. That's godlike. <laughs> could not throw, couldn't wrap it, couldn't burst. And he just mashed A to victory. Just mashed A the entire time in one. The, the man's name was DJ Kareem, and he, he really made a hero of himself today. Unfortunately, Moogle Freight on the other side of that was very embarrassed. Yeah, uh, $1,000 to the man who brings me his hide. <laughs> I need to see that stick. Yeah, that stick was amazing. That's amazing. Because what's amazing about it is he beat Moogle Parade with it. That too, and but also like four days ago, there was there was a quote unquote leak from the Mad Cats website that was just a stick with that was the exact same stick, except it was A and only A. So he just in in the last four days, 
took the exact same concept and just re-innovated re it. Yeah. Putting both the A button and the Dragon Punch button, which was one of the only complaints that was received. I, I put that I put that on and uh, I put that on my Twitter and someone said, you can't press Dragon Punch with that stick. It's useless. <laughs> and DJ Cream saw that as a challenge. He's an innovator. Yeah, he's an entrepreneur. Really just a top persona player. You've seen all two of his buns. <laughs> it was amazing. You'll have to watch the archive. Yeah, I will. I'm sure it'll also be on Finest KO Productions YouTube. Keenan getting a great push to the corner, but Moogle Parade with the grab. He's going to get a good pressure set here. Blocking from Keenan. Great rapid to open him up. I just, I love Keenan's pressure. It's always so clean. It's always so on point. Never takes any risk that isn't necessary. Yeah. Just, just solid. Yeah. Now that's, that super's always interested me. Can you just not punish that? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Uh, the little ball that uh, oh. Teddy rides on? You can't punish it. Yeah. You can't punish you it. You can't punish it. That's amazing. Basically, you just have to consider it. He's wasting 50 meter. I'm going to dodge this. Right. And he lost 50 meter. Right. I don't think it's a start of invincibility, so it's oh, okay. not a reversal. Okay. Oh, the counter hit bat right off the start. Go for it. Gain the barrel. I love Tay's I am set. Yeah. Oh, puts him right back into the barrel. Great choice by Mooga Parade. That barrel can be really influential. Right place, right time of the match. That can be a Mugle lot of deal with. Great air unblockable right there. Mooga Parade's fighting for his tournament life. So is EMP Vanilla Co. Really? So they're, they're both very serious. Keenan into uh, losers? Um, I don't know, but Mooga Parade is definitely losers because I saw him lose to DJ Cream. Right, who had only two buttons. That's right. A terrible. Embarrassing loss by Mooga Exactly. Parade, That's right. Which will be forever illuminated by the internet. Uh, great dishonor, Sudoku, right. etc. Very dishonorable, no A plus. Yeah, that's right. Mooga Parade on the verge of winning uh, this set. He's got to get one more good hit. EMP Vanilla Coke holding on. Keenan looking for a counter hit. And he gets a hit. Gets the knockdown, and Moogle Parade tries to mash out of it. Presses the unblockable. And he gets the overhead into another overhead. What a great one more. And that has got to hurt. He was so close to winning that set. Right. And EMP Vanilla Coach just took it right back. Now Keenan has a chance to take it all back. That's right. Knocks Moogle Parade completely out of the tournament. Moogle Parade with a smart tech out. Doesn't want uh, Keenan to get his pressure started. Uh, picked up his Berserk item. It might have been an accident. He might have been trying to do it for help. Uh, I don't I don't know which one's the case. Uh, but he ended up in a really bad situation against Vanilla Code. Oh, wow. The just overhead loop. I mean, he hasn't been blocking it. Uh, wow, he's just dive kicking all over him. <laughs> Making it look like Yun. Keenan playing the one button game. <laughs> Sets up the knockdown. The cross up connects. Very smart roll cross up. And Moogle Parade is overwhelmed by this knockdown. Great avoiding. Moogle Parade constantly using that ball. Can't say I agree. Wayne Wayne has nine meters to sit on now. Great choice by Moogle Parade. This is potentially his very last hit of the tournament. He has to remain vigilant. The meters confuse EMP Vanilla Coke, and he's poisoned and confused at the same time. Oh, but the hit connects from full screen, and EMP Vanilla Coke is victorious. Mooka Parade has to go commit Sudoku. Right. And has to. That's just, Absolutely. that's the way it works. Undebatable, has to go commit Sudoku. So I'm not sure who's our David. Uh, Shway. Oh, I'm next, I'm next, okay. Oh, phenomenal. All right, see you guys. And now to invite to the commentary, the man, the myth, the legend, the one, the only, Hanzo Gonzo. Hanzo, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm really tired. Yeah? I'm really tired. <laughs> Have you been up this entire time? Yes. Living off Coke? I'm living off Snapple at this point. Snapple? Yeah. So that's a healthy choice. Yeah, because I, I already had a knock, so. <laughs> Cruise on. Cruise on a myriad of chemicals. So, uh, 
Uh, I am unfamiliar with other players' tag. This is Dasifro and... I don't know. My brain can barely process thinking. Anyways. <laughs> you had that a long day, huh? Yeah. I, I keep getting blown up on stream. And I do something hella cool off stream. And everyone's like, oh. And no one will ever see that. No one would watch. And no one believes me. Everyone in the chat's like, no. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. So apparently Dastro is playing Warwick, a Teddy player. Dastro setting up the unblockable with those little sways, that way you get a level 3 Cyclone. Here comes Tay with the pressure. Dastro waiting for his hit. There it is, he gets the counter hit. Doesn't go for the corner push. Decides instead they want to continue mixing up. Sends out Kazar. Gain the push to the corner. Yo, Hanzo, your mic's a little soft. Is it? There, ah. we, go. there we go. Alright. That's for playing paralysis. Has a chance to take over Lark now. Ooh, fast. What? Oh, what doesn't complete it? Missile Ooh. and mashes into the missile. You cannot, in fact, punch the missile. Uh, contrary to popular belief. You are nothing to him. Yep. Man, Teddy's special. So wonky yet so good. Yeah, right? Teddy has. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm about to point that out. I did a lot of damage, by the way. That cross up, you just, there's no way to react to it. You just have to get it. No, it's like Berserker. Lark with a great grab. Rasbro so close to awakening. But Lark can get a fatal, then he can close out this match. But Dasbro gets a fail. Lark with no burst. And that will be a dead character. Dastro gain control back of the match. Yeah, Lark say no way. Push him right to the corner. Barrel. Gets the barrel. Oh. Kind of, kind of not that as good as it Except is. David gets me. another fatal. Catching Lark swinging again. Dastro going with an anti uh, mash setup. Thinking that Lark's gonna be pushing things. I agree with that burst, keeping Lark in the corner. Why not? He's in the corner. Whoa! Uh, I think I, I think that, that worked against him because don't know what the other player is doing too. Right. But I love that oh, Louis Tune smoke bomb. Oh why? Why would you do that? That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, we get some bucket. No burst, that will be a match. Oh, yo, Lark. Lark uh, taking over Dastro. Oh, cross dressing. Alice came out. Street Fighter cross dresser. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I thought the joke might be a little bit too complex, but I'm glad. Yeah, I, it took me like 30. <laughs> 50 brains to figure it out. They it's, been it's been a long day. It's been a long day. You don't even know. <laughs> You're right, I went home and napped. Yeah, yeah, you did. Anyway. <laughs> That's the bro with the grab. He's gonna get the wall bounce off oh, the level grab. Oh, he's made. He's made? Yeah, he's mad. I think he's realizing that Lark isn't mashing, so he needs to just go in there and grab him. He needs to mix up. Astro with the full confirm gets there unblockable. That will be it. 
The Clark's looking a little lost. Yeah. Doesn't have to do anything. Like and Clark not seen on even half of Earth yet. So if Dasbro can really take advantage of this, if he can roll past the bat and get that fatal, that's going to be a lot of help on Lark. I feel like this isn't the best piece of me, I don't know. Uh, he might have had a better confirm. That's for saying oh. under pressure. Oh, oh we got great TP from Mark. Oh, wow, everyone's just pressing buttons. Everyone's pressing buttons. You I get a button. Completely you get a button. with that TP option select. Either paralysis or uh, uppercut super. Oh. That's bro, a hit from taking the match. No, he dropped his combo. The bane of every person. And we'll be going to the final round. Dropping your combo. Yep, that's true. Yeah, I, I doubt he has the game. At his you doubt that as what? I doubt he has the game at his house to do, you know, chain <laughs> combo. So let's, yeah. let's forgive him. Day one. <laughs> it's day one. Let's forgive everyone, huh? No. Except Hanzo Gonzo. Except me. It's okay. Going into the final round. Basbro gets a quick carry on Lark. All the way pushed to the corner. If, if I were Lark, I'd be bursting pretty early here. Yeah, I might, I might look for a grab of the zone. Great roll for Lark. Now David's in a position where he's going to have to burst in. Oh wow. More grab, more pressure. Going for a sweep alert. Intelligently DPs out of it. Uses his early burst, try and push Dasbro in corner to retake control of the match. Dastro can close out right here. Ooh. Very intelligent one more for Dastro. Goes for the uh, 2A, safe option. <laughs> Expecting Lark not to be able to block, uh, block the cross up. Is that auto guards usually, right? Like, you don't have to block it left by everything. Yeah, it auto guards. I figured. And then, because it's rhythmic, you can get a lot of really good instant block hits off of it, too. Oh, okay. And uh, the small box that we are watching, very exciting things are going on. <laughs> and if Google Crate could change the screen for us, I'd be Dasbro, very low health on the arc. Lark just gets a burst, he has a chance. He gold bursts, Dasbro gets it. <laughs> oh, and that is the end. Dasbro takes over Lark. Great we... gameplay by both players. Good thing we saw all that match. Good thing we saw all that match. Alright. Alright, fellas. We gotta restart the stream. Yep, it has been a long day. Very technical for streaming, so we are going to reset, but make sure to tune in, because we have the partners in crime fighting each other. Two gigabyte combo versus Venice. And there's poop on the top of Venice.